afternoon, everybody who just joined. Hopefully you're in a better mood than Courtney and me. Ooh, Jeremiah got his license. That's really exciting. Also just in time for summer. Try one more time here. Now I have that song stuck in my head. <gasps> Ooh, pictures. Somebody else's cat had kitten. Kiki, I teach her in another class. Her cat just had kittens too. Are you going to keep them all or like give some away? Give this a couple more seconds for it to finish calling. Yeah, they are, honestly, kittens are so much more work than I thought. Like, don't you have to bottle feed them and stuff? Maybe not. Maybe that's just if they don't have, like, the mom. But give them enough space to run around. That is awesome, Kaijin. Gotcha, Jeremiah. Yes, those of you, um, so Kaijin said he got caught up on a lot of schoolwork. Those of you who are maybe not caught up, are going to have a ton of time next week because, and I will just go ahead and get started. I think I probably got everybody I'm going to get. Um, next week, you are not going to be having any live classes for any teacher or any class. Um, so next week is EOC week. If you are in an EOC class, you hopefully have gotten information on that and if anybody needs to see the EOC schedule, I have it in my email. I can share it out. You do not have an EOC in this class. Um, so all of your live classes next week are canceled. Every subject, every teacher, you are not meeting virtually at all next week. Um, that being said, it is dedicated week to make sure everybody is caught up on makeup work, Grades are squared away, um, getting ready for finals week, seniors making sure you're ready for graduation, which I think everybody in this class is a senior. Um, so you have no live classes next week, which means today is basically like our last regular class of the semester. So after today, I will not see you all unless you we meet like one on one or something until Friday, May 7th is your 4A exam for seniors. So we will not meet again until the day of that final exam meeting. Um, I believe we still stay on a normal bell schedule those days, so it would just be during this like 4A block, but I'll have to double check on that. They haven't, like they didn't put times on here, so that's what I assume that means. Um, we'll just be meeting during our normal scheduled time. So I will post any updates throughout next week as I get them. But what we're going to talk about today that is probably most important is what is happening with our last like final exam grade and then on the day of the final what is happening. Um, but before I get into that, just to reiterate, no live classes for any teacher, any subject, nothing next week. If you do want to meet one on one or in like a small group to go over anything or talk about makeup work or this um, assignment that I'm giving y'all today, then just reach out to me and let me know because I won't be teaching. I will have plenty of time. We can work around any schedule 
um, to meet one on one if we need to. So before I move on to information on your final quote unquote exam, does anyone have questions about this? So here in like a minute, I believe is when my assignment posts and the these slides are linked in there. So if you do need to see this exam schedule again, it's linked in the PowerPoint, um, but you can also go ahead and take a screenshot, snap a picture if you need to. All right. My contacts again. So final project is a little bit different than anything that we have done before. And basically you are making a made up playlist as if you were a serial killer. So I'll go through step by step here in just a second about how you're going to achieve this. But just to give an overview of. Um, like the points and everything and how this ties into your day of final final exam slash this final exam grade really because it's not an exam is worth 100 total points. This like project playlist portion that I'm about to give instructions for is worth 75 of those points. And the other 25 points are coming from signing in on the day of the final camera on ready to participate in some games and like fun activities on our virtual call. So the instructions and the project portion I'm about to go through is the majority of it and then you'll earn those other 25 points on the actual day of the final and that is 100 total points going in as your last grade of the semester under your like final exam grade. So essentially you are creating or choosing a serial killer and making a playlist for them. And it is just a, a digital playlist like you're filling in a template um, that I am providing to you. So first step is to choose your serial killer. So making sure that they actually fall into the category of being a serial killer. I use and I'll go back to that in just a second, but I use Ted Bundy as my example. So he is the one person that you cannot choose. Otherwise, you can choose any serial killer in existence that you would like to do this on. You just cannot choose Ted Bundy. So you'll research your killer. There is lots and lots of resources about anybody that you choose online. I promise whoever it is, there is enough information on them that you can get specific with this. So you are, once you have chosen and researched, creating a quote Spotify playlist that could be from that killer. So as if they were making their own playlist and telling me for each of your songs how it's relevant to that person. So you have to have a minimum of eight songs on this playlist and then really quick I'll go back. For each one, you're telling me why that song relates to them specifically. So for example, the first song on Ted Bundy's playlist is Moonlight in Vermont by Frank Sinatra. So it gives me the title and the artist. And then underneath it says born in Burlington, Vermont, and then his date of birth. So that gives me information on why Moonlight in Vermont by Frank Sinatra ties directly into Ted Bundy. Another example, The Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani ties into Ted Bundy because he escaped custody twice. So going through, it could be the title that is relevant to that person. It could be the like some lyrics from the song that are relevant to that person. How it relates is up to your creativity to determine as long as you let me know specifically so another example, there's a song called Sorority Girl. Victims included FSU Chi Omega Sorority Girls. So Ted Bundy, specific fact about his crimes that ties into that song. Some other things that you are going to include is a creative name for the playlist, created by whoever the person you chose is, and then some 
image or photo or icon to go with that playlist. And I in just a second, I'll show all of show y'all all of this in teams. It's all laid out a little bit more clearly, I think, than on my slides. So creating that playlist with at least eight songs. You have the template provided, making sure that we've got a photo, a title, who it's actually about. I do not need references for any research that you do. So as long as you are putting in efforts to make sure that the information is accurate and specific and correct, then you do not need to provide um, sources for me. But just to know, again, it has to be specific to that person. So if the song is called, I don't know, like killer, and you just say they're a serial killer, well, everybody's is. So be a little bit more specific than that. The other um, like additional thing that you can include, and it's optional, but you can get 10 extra points if you actually do create a real playlist. So you log into Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube, whatever you use for music, I'm fine with, but you can actually name and create this playlist. So I can then click on a link and go to it and you can get 10 bonus points for that. So you picked out your eight songs, you filled out the template, you wanna go in and actually make a playlist and share a link to it with me, I would see those same eight songs on that real life playlist. But again, that part is optional and it's just for some extra credit. So what I'm going to do here is share my screen and show y'all how to access this in Teams. So it just posted. I had set it for like right after class started. Final exam project serial killer playlist. Go to student view. So it's got my instructions again up here. Um, attach PowerPoint for instructions and the template. Do not choose Ted Bundy. Submitting when you are done, you can either. So if you actually make the playlist, you can just add it into your template or PowerPoint, or you can attach it here in the assignment. You have the option to add a link as your work. Um, goes through points again earn an additional 10 by actually creating and submitting a link to the playlist. So under reference materials, you just have the slides that I went through or am in the process of going through. So that's where you can find final exam schedule for seniors. This quick overview of this assignment. But the most important thing is here under like I think for y'all it says my work. You'll see a serial killer Spotify playlist. You'll click on it. It's got your information, so choose serial killer, research them, create your fake Spotify playlist, needs to have at least eight songs, picture, playlist is where you put the creative name, created by is the person you chose, got my example again, and then you have your template. So template is blank, you are going in to fill it out with title of each of your songs, the artists of each of your songs, and then a little blurb under each of them of how it ties specifically into your person. Um, and that information is over here on the left hand side as well. So place to insert your photo, name of your playlist, and then name of the serial killer. I did that with my first block and they seemed to get it okay. And then third block I did it and I had a couple questions. Um, so is that clear? Can I get like a, maybe a thumbs up or an emoji in the chat if you feel like you're good on those instructions? It makes sense. Oh, sweet. I didn't know. Oh, you can do like a thumbs up reaction. All right. I saw Rebecca's thumbs up, Jim, Paul, Courtney. Got Corliss, awesome. Let me pull these slides back up real quick. Cool, cool. It, this is hopefully purposefully not something that will require a lot of time 
Um, it does like it required me a little bit of thinking just to match up songs with information. Um, so you do have to be a little creative, but it is intentionally not something that I think should take you a full two weeks before I talk to you again to complete. Any questions about that? See a couple more thumbs ups, thumbs up. All right. The last thing here that I wanted to talk about is makeup work. So first thing I'm going to say about makeup work is Nearpods. I am literally going through each of the like eight to nine Nearpods we have done since our last progress report and giving you or picking out two that you have completed. So if you know for sure you have not been in class or not done two Nearpods, then you need to just pick two random ones, find them in the makeup links tab and do them. Um, what two Nearpods go in for you might be different for someone else. I'm just trying to pick out ones that I see people have done um, and giving y'all grades for that. So for Nearpods, I've gotten a lot of questions about like, which one do I do? Um, where do I find them, et cetera? So uh, just double checking, there's a channel in our teams. It's called Makeup Lesson Links. You can go there and find links to all the Nearpods we have done. Um, and it's literally just any two that you have completed, you are getting, and like, let's say you've done all of them, but you got a 50 on one and a 100 on two other ones, I chose your highest grades. Um, so that is how to make up Nearpods. The other two things are the learning menus, which are linked in your assignments tab, and then the desperate, or no, excuse me, this is from, I think, is that the right one? Okay, these are my anatomy slides, but um, pretty much same information. Learning menus are in assignments, and then your Jack the Ripper case study is the other thing. I have not put it in yet, but that will be the last like classwork related grade to go in. Any questions about makeup work? Everything is in Teams. All of it should be working. If it's not, just let me know. And again, like I said, if next week anybody needs to meet one on one to go through like specifically what needs to get done or what's missing, just let me know and we'll have plenty of time to meet and get that stuff completed. Alrighty. Last thing, senior survey. We talked about this on Wednesday. It was your only task really for differentiated Wednesday. Um, if you have not done it, just make sure you get to that. Let me read. Um, that would be Miss Holland, Paul, and I'll put her email in the chat. And maybe that they're still processing or something like that, um, but you should be able to email Miss Holland and double check on that. Or you could probably also reach out to Mr. Harris if I think he should probably have, I just don't know his email off the top of my head. What is his email? Harris G3. Stop for it. Yeah, I think all of y'all are seniors. So if anybody has any questions about senior dues, cap and gown, senior clearance, any of that stuff, I just put Miss Holland and Mr. Harris's emails in the chat. They would be the people you can contact about that stuff. I got a question. Yeah, what's up? Can you send me the ELC schedule? I can. Um, let me pull it up and what I can do here just so everybody will have it is put it in this chat. If they have like a picture of it. Just give me one second Melanie to pull it up at these slides they sent out. God, what is wrong with my eye? 
falling apart. Almost there. All right, so I just put that in the chat. I'll also just go ahead and pull it up on the screen um, in case you, for whatever reason, can't open it in the chat. You can probably see it a little better on here if I can get there. Do, do, do. Over. So we've got, there we go. American Lit Section 1 on Monday, American Lit Section 2 and 3 on Tuesday, Biology is on Wednesday, U.S. History on Thursday, and then Algebra 1 on Friday. Is that really all of them? I thought there were more EOCs than that. I guess maybe this year some of them got canceled. So there is that. Any other questions about anything? All right, well, that is why I can't, cannot do this. I'm pulling up all the wrong stuff. Um, and now I lost my train of thought. That is all that I have for our last official day of class. But just to repeat, that is correct, Jim. You will not have any live classes next week. None of your teachers will be meeting because people will be in EOCs. Um, and so A, they will be like an EOC versus in their scheduled class, but also they don't want people like getting called into class. Like I'll go through the list and call y'all in. Um, they don't want that to disrupt EOCs because they have like really strict guidelines and stuff. Um, so you should not be meeting with any of your classes unless you want to meet one on one. Um, so May 7th, I will see you all. I'm pretty sure during our normal block time, I will double check on that, but I'm pretty sure because it's just senior exam week, um, it just happens during your class. So sadly, I will not see y'all for like two weeks from now. And we are done with forensics for the year, which is crazy. Other than our last day. Oop, there we go. So that's all I have for your Friday. Um, cool. Jen, do you want to do it today or do you want to wait until next week? I'm good either way. Okay. If you, I'll let this run for just a couple minutes in case any other questions come up. Um, and then I will give you a call on Teams. Everybody else, thank you all. Well, and Jim too. Thank you all for a wonderful, wonderful year. Um, I know I'll talk to y'all again on exam day, but in the meantime, stay safe. Make sure we're getting caught up on everything. Use your time next week wisely. And as always, just let me know if you need anything. And if for whatever reason I don't see you on final exam day, I will see you at graduation, assuming you are still graduating.
You are more than welcome, Courtney. You have been awesome. Even though you weren't even on the roster for like half the year. No. <laughs> 